wasn't surprised whatsoever by what the results were. The numbers are in, and the Champaign School District released survey results about two proposals that could uproot elementary students from their current schools. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. The district announced it wanted to change the Schools of Choice model in September and has been facing backlash about the proposal since then. WCI 3 Scarlett O'Hara joins us. So Scarlett, walk us through this. So since we started covering this, we've heard from many parents who are concerned about the options on the table, and now we can see it in the data. A red line represents right here the percent of people who strongly do not support the sister school proposal. And as you can see, overwhelmingly people responded negatively. This graph shows the results for the cluster model with another majority of people opposing that idea. There's no widespread support whatsoever for moving kids around among schools. That's what a consulting firm found when they surveyed 2,600 people about changing the elementary schools of choice process in Champaign. Cooperative Strategies proposed two scenarios, one that would create sister schools and one that would give families clusters of schools to choose from. But either idea could send many kids to new schools next year. The biggest concern far and away was the disruption. Parents have been raising that concern since the firm first brought its proposals to the school board. They say moving kids around could cause social and emotional distress, especially after the pandemic. Superintendent Dr. Sheila Boozer addressed that in a September meeting. The funny thing is our kids are probably going to be more resilient about it than we are. Survey results show the majority of people do not support both scenarios, with more than 70% feeling strongly against the sister school's model and more than half strongly opposing the cluster model. We spoke with one parent who says sharing the data was a step in the right direction for transparency. To their credit, Cooperative Strategies um, released all of the very detailed and lengthy comments that people made as they were submitting their online surveys with their concerns about these two scenarios. He also wishes cooperative strategies would have started collecting feedback before making their suggestions. We've spent from September till now um, kind of, you know, in a debate about all of this that we probably wouldn't have had to have been. Now, the district is open to a new set of proposals. The district updated its timeline to make a final decision and is allowing the firm to present alternate scenarios. But some parents feel rushed. And then they're going to give us about a month over the holidays to provide feedback on new scenarios and then maybe vote in January on something. He says if the new scenarios are still disruptive, parents will feel strongly against them as well. Cooperative Strategies also suggested removing the balanced calendar for Barkstall and Kenwood. And as you can see, more than 40% here do not support that change, but about 35% say they have no opinion. Jessica. All right, Scarlett, thank you. Next Monday, the board will hear a presentation from Cooperative Strategies about the results and new scenarios. Families will have another opportunity to give feedback. The firm will give its final recommendation January 9th. The board is set to vote on a new model on January 23rd.